Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks, who had beautiful golden hair. She lived in a pretty house right at the edge of the forest. Each morning, she liked to play outside before breakfast, gathering flowers and looking at the animals who lived in the trees. One day, she strayed farther than usual. She skipped happily along the forest path, chasing butterflies, until she was far from home and very hungry. Just as she was thinking that it would take a long time to walk back for breakfast, a delicious smell wafted through the woods. She followed it all the way to a little cottage. I wonder who lives here, Goldilocks said to herself. Perhaps they would share their breakfast with me. She knocked on the door, but there was no answer. As Goldilocks pushed gently on the door, it swung open. The house inside was cozy and inviting. Even though she knew she shouldn't, Goldilocks stepped inside. The delicious smell was coming from three bowls of steaming porridge on the table. There was a great big bowl, a middle-sized bowl, and a teeny tiny bowl. Goldilocks was so hungry that even though she knew she shouldn't, she tasted the porridge in the biggest bowl. Ew! she cried. This porridge is too hot! Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Yuck! she said. This porridge is much too cold! So finally, she tried the porridge in the teeny tiny bowl. Yum! Goldilocks said. This porridge is just right! And she ate it all up. With her tummy nice and full, Goldilocks decided to take a rest before she set out for home. She looked around the room for somewhere to sit. There were three chairs. A great big chair, a middle-sized chair, and a teeny tiny chair. She climbed onto the great big chair. This chair is much too high, she said. Next, she tried a middle-sized chair, but she sank deep into the cushions. No, she said, this chair is much too scratchy. So she sat on the teeny tiny chair. This chair is just right, she said, settling down. But Goldilocks was very full of porridge and too heavy for the teeny tiny chair. It squeaked and creaked. It creaked and cracked, then crash! It broke into teeny tiny pieces and Goldilocks fell to the floor. Well, that wasn't a very good chair, she said crossly. Then, even though she knew she shouldn't, she went to look upstairs. In the bedroom were three beds. A great big bed, a middle-sized bed, and a teeny tiny bed. She tried to lie down on the great big bed, but it wasn't at all comfy. This bed is too hard and lumpy, she grumbled. Then Goldilocks lay down on the middle-sized bed, but that was no better. This bed is too soft and squishy, she mumbled. And so, at last, she snuggled down in the teeny tiny bed. This bed is just right, she said, and fell fast asleep. Now, Whenever there is a house with porridge and chairs and beds, there is usually someone who lives there. And that was true of this house. Three big brown bears lived there. A great big daddy bear, a middle-sized mommy bear, and a teeny tiny baby bear. The three bears had made their porridge and gone out for a walk in the woods while it cooled down. At last, they went home for their breakfast. Why is this door open? Daddy Bear said in his deep, gruff voice. Why are there footprints on the floor? Mommy Bear said in her soft, low voice. Baby Bear said nothing. 
They went over to the table, and Daddy Bear looked in his bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, he growled. Mommy Bear looked in her bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, she exclaimed. Baby Bear looked in his bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up. He cried in his teeny tiny voice. Daddy Bear stomped over to his chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he growled. There's a long hair on it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, Mommy Bear exclaimed. The cushions are all squashed. Baby Bear looked at his chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he cried. And they've broken it into pieces. Let's go to the bottom of this, Daddy Bear growled, and they padded upstairs to the bedroom. Daddy Bear saw the rumpled covers of his bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, he grumbled. Mommy Bear saw the jumbled pillows on her bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, she said. Baby Bear padded up to his bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and they're still there, he cried. The three bears crowded around the sleeping girl. Baby Bear reached out a fuzzy paw to touch her golden curls. Goldilocks opened her eyes. Imagine her surprise when she saw three bears peering down at her. She leapt out of the bed, ran down the stairs, through the door, along the path, and all the way home. And she never visited a house of the three bears ever again. The end.